Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so, not a whole lot going on, although I have made a couple of changes. Uh, for starters, I have a 4K webcam now, so uh, I can't tell any difference in the video quality, but uh, maybe you guys can. We'll see. Uh, second thing is, is I bought a Canon ProGraph 300 printer. Um, and there are several decent printers. Uh, but I bought the ProGraph because I wanted an archival safe printer. Um, but it also has optimizations for black and white prints. So um, as you know, I, I do enjoy shooting uh, a lot of black and white. So um, I've done a couple of test prints, but nothing serious yet. So more to come there. Anyway, other than that, um, haven't really shot a whole lot. Shot a couple of pictures yesterday with the new Hasselblad of the dogs, but they weren't sitting still enough to get a, a sharp picture. Um, I'll go through those pictures again, see if anything came out. Um, so, unfortunately, the the 45 millimeter lens that I have on it, it it's a good lens, um, but it, its fastest speed is f4.5. So shooting indoors, uh, you can't really get uh, the high speeds. Well. And I shouldn't say that. It is medium format, so uh, I guess the the lens probably performs somewhere around f2.8. Um, anyway, um, so I might look for a lens, uh, a faster lens, uh, for medium format. But uh, other than that, it's been hot. It's been raining. Um, as you know, Florida is getting a lot of flooding right now. Um, and being hot and rainy and being sick at the same time has not been fun. So, um, anyway, trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, not as prepared this week as I would have liked, but uh, we'll, we'll try and catch up. Anyway, reminder, uh, camera giveaway number one is finished. Um, our last camera is going to Australia. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take for that camera to get there. Probably a month or two. Um, but uh, as info, uh, out of, let's see, three out of eight cameras that we gave away uh, we had one go to Indonesia um, of course we just had the one going to Australia I off the oh uh, where was the other one going that was international oh the Netherlands we shipped the camera to the Netherlands um, so kind of interesting how spread out everything was, um, you know, and of course we had several that went to various locations here in the States. So, excuse me. Anyway, coming up, we do have camera giveaway number two, uh, do have four medium format folding cameras, two of which are six by six cameras two are six by nine um i'm both randomly picking the winner and randomly picking the camera uh in this case because i really don't know anything about the folding cameras other than i did check the bellows uh i saw no light leaks in the bellows um and the lenses um seem to all uh, all of them of course on a folding camera they all come with leaf shutters in the lens, so uh, all the uh, shutters seem to fire just fine. 
Um, you know, it's, I, I can't tell you if the speeds are accurate or not. And, um, I don't know how clean those lenses are. My guess is not very clean. They don't come with lens caps, um, but they do close. So, you know, um, but not knowing anything about the glass in these cameras, I would not attempt to clean them um, until you really know uh, what you're doing. So um, I will not clean them. Um, if it's like most things, they probably, if there's some dust on them, probably isn't going to impact uh, image quality too much. Um, I can't tell if there's any fungus on them or not. Um, you know, you guys will need to figure that out for yourselves. You know, it may be, um, if you're ambitious, you know, you can figure out how to clean it. You know, if it's a bad lens, then maybe put, you know, get some new glass for it. Otherwise, uh, it will make an interesting, uh, uh, display piece, if nothing else. Um, but I have no reason to believe that the cameras aren't in good working order. Um, I will say that pro there, uh, I don't know if there's light leaks in the back of the camera, uh, on all four. Uh, I will say, I suspect almost all of them need the seals on the back replaced. Um just based on the condition they're in. Um, now one thing you can do to get around that is uh, use gaffer tape and once you put your film in put the gaffer tape around the back um, to try and seal up the back as much as possible. Um, you know and you know uh, probably your first few rolls uh, you'll want to load the film uh, in daylight um, I do not know if all of the cameras come with a take-up spool. Otherwise, you'll have to sacrifice a roll of film or see if somebody's got a spare spool. But anyway, uh, that's kind of kind of what it is. So I guess that's it for today, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.